Ahoy friends, welcome to Building the Alpha Dory. I'm Dan, and this is a project to build a Chamberlain-style racing dory from John Gardner's The Dory Book, illustrations by Sam Manning. Today we'll be out in the uh, yard, and we're going to try and get the bottom of the dory fiberglassed with uh, glass cloth and Kite Bond 3 waterproof wood glue. So this will be a bit of an adventure. Now let's get out there and get to it. First thing I'm going to do is cock the bottom with, uh, <coughs> with uh, cotton. And uh, I'm going to set the cotton in some of the wood glue and uh, bang it into the seams. And, um, and then we'll glass over it some more.
Okay, so you can uh, kind of see what's going on. I'm just looping the uh, cotton into the seam and uh, just making sure it all gets wetted out with the uh, glue. Then we'll, uh, I might do a quick putty over top of the seam and then we'll lay the glass on. We'll see how high the, uh, we'll see how deep the seam is once we're done with the uh, cotton. And see if it needs a little putty as well or if we can just go glass over it. So the whole video isn't going to, you know, I'm not going to record the entire caulking of this seam. Then we'll do this other one. Maybe I'll uh, turn it back on while I'm finishing up. Okay, so here's uh, kind of how we're going about it. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it seems to be the uh, seam is just about perfect. It's not too big, not too small. Um, it's taking the cotton really well. Uh, So this, uh, the caulking will tighten the whole bottom as you put, as you uh, put it in, and it's also going to keep the uh, glue when we fiberglass the bottom, going to keep the glue from uh, draining through. So here's how I've been doing it. It's uh, you know, pretty simple stuff. There's not a lot of not a whole lot of caulking, even in traditional dories. You know, the laps are a, uh, just a wood-to-wood, -wood watertight fit. Um, <clears throat> the bottom is traditionally caulked. And then you'd caulk, uh, you know, caulking along the, along the garboard, which uh, <clears throat> kind of gets sandwiched. Uh, sandwiched in between the garboard and the uh, bottom when you're nailing the garboard on. So it's not really hammered and it's just uh, put in with paint and uh, nailed in underneath the uh, garboard plank. So here's what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, pulling a little bit of a loop. Depending on the uh, set, what the seam size is looking like. So it's a little bit bigger. It was a little bit bigger back there and it's a little bit smaller here. So I'm you know, using a little bit smaller loop, just pulling a little loop with my finger and starting the uh, cotton into the seam. And then uh, I'll go back over it with the, with the uh, iron. And once I got a, a little bit of a area done, maybe once I get, say, two feet of loop, just pretty much splitting the loop and uh, setting it into the seam. Then I'll go back along and kind of drive it home. I'm not going crazy with the, uh, with the pressure because I don't want to squeeze too much glue out into the, on the inside of the boot either. But it's, uh, yeah, coming in nice and tight. And uh, if you weren't here for the putting the bottom together, when we uh, make the bottom, we bevel the outside of the bottom boards about five degrees at the seam in order to uh, leave this caulking bevel so that we can. that we can cock the bottom. And I suppose if you're doing a fiberglass bottom, you really, you might not need the caulking. I don't know. Uh, but this will definitely help tighten the bottom up. There's only so much clamping pressure you can get on the bottom boards when you're riveting them together. And, you know, you get as much as you can for sure. But... But there's only so much you can get, and then once everything's fastened and the whole boat's together, now going back and caulking it is really going to tighten up the bottom. 
which could only be a good thing on a uh, classic racing vessel. Not that uh, this boat is going to get pushed too hard, but couldn't hurt, you know. So just doing the same thing. And, uh, you know, like I say, I'll maybe bring you guys back when, uh, when I'm finishing up and starting to uh, hopefully get the fiberglass on tonight, too. We'll see. As I come to the uh, end of the seam, it's a little bit tighter, so I'm <clears throat> doing smaller loops. And I'm going back over and wetting out the uh, cotton before I bang it in. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple, tough to go wrong with this. I remember my first time caulking, I was probably uh, uh, 8 or 10 and up at a uh, camp up in Maine, my, my cousin's camp, and there was this ancient, uh, either a Either a sharpie or a skiff, cross plank skiff, flat iron, something like that, uh, up under the trees. And it was cedar plank, so it was actually still in pretty okay shape. So I ended up uh, getting an old bed sheet that was in the camp on one of the old cots there. The, you just you just uh, open the can. There's a lot of old stuff in there that ended up getting tossed. So I grabbed one of the old bed sheets that was getting thrown out and tore it into strips and cocked the skiff with that. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I didn't have a clue what I was doing, but it held water. And uh, by the end of our weekend up there, I was out fishing the lake in it. So, yeah, don't be uh, intimidated if you're just starting out. What I've found is helpful because I'm, you know, like I'm, I'm putting the glue on here. It's a little bit tough to see what's going on. So uh, I wipe it off and then go back over it one more time. It seems to do the trick. Alright, 
so that's pretty much got the caulking done <clears throat> and uh, and I gotta decide whether I want to I think I will try and do some fiberglassing it's just gorgeous out here right now it's not too hot it, my only concern is the Sun is going down so I want this this is uh, this Type Bond 3 is water based, so my only concern would be like uh, the dew falling on it. Which I, I've got a I've got a plastic I can pull over it, so I think we'll give it a shot. I'll uh, start the video up again once I got the uh, fiberglass laid out. Okay, so. I've got the <clears throat> fiberglass cloth. I think this was uh, 16 feet of it, and it is just long enough. <laughs> and uh, I've got it spread out sort of a diagonal to make the to make the full uh, the full length here. But uh, yeah, it's just perfect. So. Gosh, what I should do is measure the amount of cloth I got once I cut this off. <laughs> I'll know to get six inches more next time. But uh, yeah, looks good. Let's uh, start gluing. And uh, go from there. Excuse me. It's that soda I just drank. Coke.
just sort of spreading the extra glue around to spots that need it. All right, well, I'm just going to keep uh, doing this, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll bring you guys back once I've got a pretty good uh, distribution of the uh, glue, and uh, we're getting close to uh, cutting, the, uh, cutting the glass. So, here we are, got that coat of goop and goo all over the bottom, and uh, cut the uh, excess off. So first of all, I cut the a lot of excess off with the scissors before I started spreading too much of the glue uh, so that hopefully we'll keep that cloth dry so we can use it at a, for something small at a later date. Um, then I spread the goop around and now it's, uh, yeah, it's looking great. Now I just hope it dries before, the, <laughs> before it rains or the dew messes with it or who knows what but it looks awesome um perfect temperature out here it's uh probably in the 70s but uh you know no sun the sun is just about set at this point um so it hasn't last time i did this with centennial it was uh, drying on me as i was doing it which was uh, kind of a big pain and made for some real kind of trying times. Um, and like I say, you know, we'll see if this comes back to bite me as far as the time of day, but the job looks excellent. The glass laid on there really easy. Like I said, I had to kitty corner it to get it to go stem to stern, so I got just enough. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks awesome. So, fingers crossed, we'll see what it looks like in the daylight. You know, one of the other great parts about this uh, Type Bond 3 is it's uh, water soluble. So I can just clean up any uh, drips here just with a wet rag and an old sock here. dries well. If we do any more tonight and we'll just start messing with it. The, uh, the caulking went in well and then I actually uh, 
mixed some glue with uh, sawdust and puttied the seams over the caulking before I laid the glass on. Thanks so much for stopping by building the Alpha Dory. A massive thank you to everyone who's liked, subscribed, and supported the channel. This is why we do this, and uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see you next video, and uh, and even better, maybe we'll see you out on the water one of these days in your own Alpha Dory. Thanks so much for stopping by, and uh, God bless.